Hey y'all, welcome back to Shea FC guys. I hope you all are well in your good. Please do hit the like button, it really means a lot and do subscribe. Your support is the one that really carries me and I need it most. But overall, I hope you all are well and good. And it's time to discuss Mason Mount joining Manchester United. Finally, this saga is over. It's been irritating me, the most Chelsea fans and even some of United fans. And it's been irritating for all the parties involved. I won't discuss much on Mason to Manchester and how does he fit. I'll discuss it later in the video. But main discussion has to be the PR disaster and the news that's coming out and Mason's farewell video and my opinion on it and overall the fiasco that's going on even right now, the news that's coming out. So first, we all saw that video. See, for me, I'm just giving my opinion. I'm not taking anyone's opinion or I'm not even putting an allegation on someone. I really respect Mount. But I think that looked like a very, very rehearsed, like... PR type uh, statement he gave, it never looked like the emotion. When you see Ruben Neves and the statement, that's what you call real emotions. And I think to be really, really honest, it never looked like to me a real, real one. It just looks like PR company really continuing uh, the image rights, the PR, the interviews, everything was being arranged by PR company, which is normal for the players. But for me, it just didn't look like a lot like heart to heart with the fans. But that's just my opinion. I think Mason could have really done better. He was already leaving for a rival matches and I did. And the way it's been gone, the way he has left, the last thing at least you expect from a player that's been at Chelsea for so many years. He has been a huge product for us and really, really came up through the ranks, work hard. You expect somewhat classy statement in a way that is giving uh, himself. Again, I'm saying it's my opinion, but I just did not really resonate with it. I thought he should be doing better, but he's just a player and best of luck to Mason on Manchester United. But I just did not like the statement, being very honest with uh, everyone watching. Overall, on the other things, just is really going around. Now it's really going on from both the parties. Even after the move is completed, it's been a total PR disaster for Chelsea, but more importantly, Mount. Now reports are coming that Mason was uh, Mason's uh, P company, you can say not PR, his people, his representatives have been saying that Chelsea only offered him around 30k more than the previous wages. Chelsea sources, this is by Athletic, Chelsea sources have denied it saying they offered him near to James and it's become a disaster. The reports are coming out that Mason Mount believes that Manchester United can be more trophies than Chelsea, it's a much more stable place and the rumours are coming out that Tony Mount, uh, Mason Mount's father and overall, I, I believe right now a bit of agent are controlling his transfers. Tony Mount uh, wanted to meet the owners regarding uh, the Mason Mount sale and if a contract extension or if he's sold and he was met with Paul with Stanley, you can see the new Chelsea person that heads everything regarding sales, signings along with uh, Weaver and Stewart and he was bewildered and that was another reason they left. So it's going in and around. Mason Mount represented him, making him look in the good light. The Chelsea went away from the deal and did not offer him good money. And Chelsea are putting Mount in a bad light where it's just like Mount just is in for money. So it's been a total disaster and I'm happy it's over. Just my humble opinion on this before I go, how does it fit on match United in the transfer? I think see, nobody can deny he does want, he did want good wages. He wanted to be highest turner, which is not wrong. Every player has to look after the livelihood. They think they deserve these particular wages. And I think the club is absolutely right as well to not pay him the wages. A lot of the fans are going on that he's the Chelsea boy. You have to give him the wages to keep these players. See, I love Mason and I always love Mason. Mason is one of the most professional players I've seen play for Chelsea and a very good guy. But Mason is in no way deserves 250k. Rhys James was deserved 250k because Rhys James is a very rare player you find in the market. You can replace Mason Mount, but it's very difficult to replace Rhys James. And that's my opinion. Like Manchester United overall, if you just go Manchester United, Marcus Rashford deserves top wages. Bruno Fernandes is a top player, but not at the level of Marcus Rashford. The same is with Mason Mount. He is a good player, but you cannot give him the wages. Only player that deserves big wages are like Eden Hazards, the talents of Rhys James and when he plays. Mount is a fantastic talent, but I think Chelsea are right to not offer him that wage. And I think both the parties had to split and best of luck to Mason and Manchester United. And I think Chelsea have nothing to worry. I think overall the both parties could have handled it better, but that's what is goes in transfer negotiation. And I trust the new team now. I will trust with Stanley. I will trust Stuart. In this club, a lot of fans have been begging for the club to be run by football people and not the owners. And now when owners are doing that, owners are this, owners are that, owners are bad because I'm not kept a Chelsea boy. Please be mutual. Either you want uh, the club to be run by football people or you just want owner to make emotional decisions. That's up to you guys. Now going on Mason Mount and is it a good deal for Manchester United and overall how does it fit there? See, I still think it's a good deal for both the clubs. We get 55-60 million for a player who I think we could, if we wanted, we can keep but we can also let him go. We still have Nkuku who can play in number 10. We want to play 4-2-3-1 formation. Enzo and hopefully Caicedo will be the midfield. You still have Nkuku, you still have Chukameka, you will go for one more midfielder. 
Chelsea are sorted and we can get past Mason Mount to be really honest. So we win the deal. We use that money to sign a Caicedo. We use a Harvard's money to sign a goalkeeper if you do or a striker. So I think Chelsea are sorted. We get the money. We upgrade a squad because we needed upgrades in different departments. For Manchester United, this was not a bad deal. Mason Mount is a very professional player, first of all. The guy will give everything on the pitch and fans will love him. And also with Mason Mount, the guy is very versatile. He can score from the right wings. And Anthony, I do like Anthony as a talent, but Anthony cannot score. So Mason Mount can do that thing. Mason Mount can even sometimes, if United want to play Rashford up top or Ganacho is not available, or sometimes available, but you want defensive work, you can play with Mason Mount. Mason Mount can even play, we all know, instead of Bruno Fernandes, if he's tired or Champions League games. In some games, you can even play both Bruno and Mount, which United will do. But I think you can be more attacking with Rashford, with Bruno, with a striker, with Mount, with Anthony. You can be more attacking when you're playing a low opponent. And I think Mason is a very versatile player that can provide them 10 goals and 8 assists season. So I think overall it's a fine signing for them. And see, I'm, I will not put any hope. I hope it does well in Manchester United. My, I just wish he doesn't score against us. But overall, I only have good wishes for players. I never wish bad on them. And I will say this is just overall if he feels at Manchester United because of being an English player, he can also go for good money. So I don't think it's a bad deal for United as well. And if they use him properly, I think it will be a good deal for them as well. But I think Chelsea already have good deal in my opinion until we go and spend their money on draws or average players. And now, where does he fit in Manchester United? I think he's going to fit in right now instead of Ericsson. But I think because in the big games, especially when Manchester United will be in danger of counters, I think if they play Casemiro, Mount and Bruno, they're going to be destroyed. So in some games, we can even see him instead of Anthony. But in most games against teams that United should be beating, you might see Casemiro, even Bruno playing in deep role and Mount playing as a 10 because Mount is not really good from deep. Bruno is a much more better technical player, but Mount can be even more threatening in the front in terms of pressing and scoring than Bruno. And Masons, I know people might not agree, but his long shots are much better than Bruno. Bruno's shots go in, but they are also very wavered. Mount can do much better in those departments. So I think it could be very versatile for him. And I think Ten Hag is a very good manager. I really rate him so he can do a good job. I think it's a good deal for both the parties. But hopefully Mason's representative now just shut it. He has got to move to Manchester United, just stop it. He has gone from he's gone from Chelsea to United. No point in putting the news out and putting the more hatred on the boy from the fans. And the same with the club. It's over now. He's gone. Ended. Be decent. The guy has been an important player for us for five years. So have some decency and let him uh, go in Manchester United without any news or drama. And hopefully he doesn't get booed, he gets cheered. But this is also a message to the fans that bar the fans who will stay with the club to three and ten because we love the club to bits. Or you can say the fans... or. You, Fans that go to the stadium every time support the club, take and think that uh, support the club. And you can say play rare players like Czech, Lampard, Drogba, Ashley Cole. I think except and people who work at Chelsea uh, in very like who are going to stay there forever, like the people who prepare the stadium, the everyday uh, departments. Other than that, no person is proper Chelsea. So please don't say, oh, this player is a proper Chelsea because he has scored a goal in an important match. Proper shells are players like Drogba, Czech, Lampa, Terry, and until you reach that level, until you show that loyalty, you cannot be called that. Mason Mount is really a boy who had a dream, who break at Chelsea in the youth career, so well done to him. But he was not a proper Chelsea for me. Ruben Loftus cheek was, and because the guy, even after injuries, even after some time, Chelsea really not treating him well, the guy still loved us. That is called proper Chelsea, and I'm not criticizing Mount for that. You don't have to be proper Chelsea. These are professionals, they are in for the money, and they are in for the personal growth. Well done, Mason. But please do not call him a proper Chels. Thank you, Mount. I love you to bits. Hopefully you do well in Manchester United. But you were never a proper Chels and you don't need to be. It's a professional career and I respect that. And people, please who have watched this, please do like and subscribe. Thank you, everyone. And up the Blues, up the Chels, and Chelsea keeps on going.